We go to pubs when we want to relax, paint and be left alone. Simple Simons in Canterbury is a popular boozer amongst the students of that city and seeing as students think I'm very, very cool, I thought at least one of them would buy me a drink. No. Let me uh, just try something with a few of you here. Your name, sir? Frankie. Frankie? Now, you are not a stooge, you're not an actor, we haven't set anything up, I haven't asked you to help me out here in a bad way, no? That's correct, yeah. Correct, come and stand here for me. This is so simple, I just want you to think of something. Now, this can be anything, it could be like a, a name or a, a, a place or just a random word, doesn't matter, but get something very clearly in your mind. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay? And when you've got something, Frank, I'd also like you to change your mind a few times till you are happy that you settle on something that I could not possibly know. Have you got something? Yes. Great. Okay, we'll work with that. Now, what you do is you just visualise that thing. Just look out there for me. Just look at a, maybe a spot up there on the ceiling. Just start to sort of bring it in like this, sort of enlarging it a little bit. Okay, and as you do that, there's something musical, is that right? Yes. Yes. Bring it in here like that. Just bigger and bigger. What is this, a violin or something? It's like a violin? Along those lines. Guitar? Yes. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad. All right. Uh, thank you. Sir, what's your name? Stefan. Ste Stefan, come and stand here. Thank you. Same name as our director. All right. Uh, you take your glasses off on me. Can you see me right without those? Oh, just about. All right. Okay. Same thing. So again, you're thinking of anything you like. Name, place. Random word, change your mind again and again and again. Settle on something that you can visualise in some way. Have you got something? Yeah. Maybe you think guitar was a little easy, looks like he plays the guitar, so <laughs> make it a difficult one if you want, all right? Just come up with something. Let me get up my pad and can I... Pad man, thank you very much. All right. Just relax for me. I'm going to ask you to think of letters in the word and that kind of thing. So let's just start with a letter somewhere in the middle of this word that you're thinking of at the moment. Yeah. Over and... Shh, sorry, one second. Okay, I might not be able to do this. Is that a D? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> right. Let's go for another one nearer the... Uh, maybe nearer the end. Got one? Yeah. That's an A, yes? Yeah. It's the name of something, isn't it? Because you're not able to visualise this too easily. This may be the name of a place or something like that. Just search yourself over and over again. Don't give anything away. Just search yourself... Right. Thank you. Alright, so there's a plosive sound at the beginning. Could be like a B or a P or a B. Thank you. Something like that. Uh, just repeating it over and over and oh god, did you. The word was? Broadstairs. Broadstairs. You go and put your glasses on. <laughs> I can't see otherwise, I'm blind. Broadstairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> As you were doing that, be honest, all right, don't just make me look good. As you're doing that, did you have the word grace in your mind? You're amazing. Did you have grace? Oh, you're did you have grace? That's your what? It's my girlfriend, yeah. Did you have that in your mind? Yeah, that's, you the were, first, you... that's the first thing that came in. And then you changed it to yeah, grace. Thank you so much. You're Thank fantastic you. at this. You're great. It's fantastic. Like... Did you even know that? It's it was amazing, it was special. ESP or whatever, psychic, the devil possession, I don't know, but it, you know, I don't, I don't know how he did it. I mean, he what, came into the pub like 10 minutes ten before minutes and he pretty much knows the intimate details of your life. Gotta get Darren Brown. Oh, I remember I used to come here as a child and it's still really shit, isn't it, let's be honest. But I couldn't leave without visiting the Pleasure Beach and playing a fairground game with the tourists where, who knows, one lucky lady might even win a finger ring from me. Your name is? Angela. Angela, very good to meet you. And? Georgie. 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 Excellent, OK. Um, will you have a look at that for me? Empty ring box, ring box, and a ring box. Yep. And this. A ring which we borrowed from a jeweller's not too far around here. It's worth two and a half thousand pounds. It's an 18 karat white gold ring with a diamond on the top. This is a genuine, very nice, expensive ring. I've got to play a little game involving this ring. Okay. You may win the ring during the course of the game. If that happens, uh, you'll understand that you win the ring, which is great, but we have to give two and a half thousand pounds to the jewellers that we got this off. <laughs> so, in the nicest possible way, the idea of this for me is that you don't win the ring, if that makes sense, yeah? Yes, okay. I can, I, um, can I borrow that? Yes, and the other two, I'm going to keep empty. Thank you. Mix them up so you don't know which is which. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> <back>. ah. <laughs> All right. We just hold out a hand each, nice and flat. So put one there, one there, 
and <laughs> one there, one there, and one here. Great. Okay, now if you put a hand out for me, one hand flat, I'm going to give you that. And one there, and one for me. All right, here's the game. You're going to get a maximum of five exchanges. I will count one, two, three, four, five. Each time I count a number, you're allowed to exchange a couple of boxes. You don't have to, and it doesn't matter if one of you does all the exchanging and one of you doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. There is a certain psychology to this. There are certain moves I expect you to make, so your task is to try and work against that, all right? So that one of you ends up with the ring. Obviously, the odds are sort of in your favor because there's two of you and only one of me. All right, so here we go. One, your first move. Anyone going to swap? Two. <laughs> Remember, you don't have to if you don't want, all right? Three. Four. And there's one more. Five. <laughs> Three. I'll stick. <laughs> Four. I'll stick. <laughs> Five. Sticking as you are? Yeah. All right, excellent. Okay. Sophia, yes? Yes. And you open your box. No ring. Let's just show the camera. So it's one down. I'll put that away. I'll get rid of it. All right? Uh, uh, uh. No, I was telling Before you look, <laughs> I'm going to offer you a chance, if you want, to change your mind, okay? okay? I wouldn't normally do this. I'll give you a clue. The clue is, you're wrong, it's in this one here. Okay. All right? That was your clue. You don't have to believe me, but let me explain. Probably by me saying it's over here, you wouldn't believe me. Uh -huh. In fact, why would you believe me? Because why would I tell you where the ring is? Now, that means I could say it's here just to make you want to stick with that one even more. Uh -huh. So you might think I'm saying it's here just to catch you out and make you stick with that one. If you think I'm doing that, catch me out and go for this one, yeah? Okay. Or if you think I'm just being honest and telling you the truth, it's still there. Okay. Do you want to change? Yeah. <coughs> you do want to yeah. change. <laughs> sure? Yeah. Okay, open the box. Can't believe you fell for that one. <laughs> Excellent, fantastic. Let me get rid of that. Uh, which of course leaves me with the ring. Thank you very much. I thought, is he like saying that so I give him the box? Or is he saying that so I keep it? I don't know. And Sophie was going, keep it, keep it. Angela, yeah? Yeah. Open the box. Okay, nothing. I'm going to show the camera. All right, bad luck. Hang on, hang on a minute. Oh, sorry. Just talk this through now. I'm going to give you a chance to change your mind. Let me just point out, aside from whatever games I'm playing, mathematically, mm -hmm. you've got twice as much chance of winning if you change at this point. I'll explain why, all right? You've got a one in three chance of that being the ring, which means you've always got a two-thirds chance of being wrong. You've always got a two-thirds chance that it's one of the others, all right? So we know it's not that one. It actually means you've got a two-thirds chance of it being this one here. It is counterintuitive, but it is true. Are you going to stick or are you going to change your mind? You're trying to change my mind. <laughs> what do you want to do? I'll stick. You're going to stick? Yeah. Are you sure? Positive. Open the box. I'm sure I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have told you all that if I'd have wanted you to change. Excellent. Well done, well that? done. Great, OK. Thank you. Which, of course, uh, yes. means that uh, yes. I end up with the ring. But uh, thank you so much. I, I was uh, convinced I had it. It was a look on Dan's face. I was convinced I had the ring. The way he looked as much as say, oh, what do I do now? Do I, you know, I'm going to have to pay for this ring. She's got it. I'm pretty shocked because uh, I was expecting some kind of trickery, but obviously he was just so confident in his own persuasive powers or knowledge of what we do based on what he said. So yeah, it was very cleverly done. Yeah, it was very cleverly done. Brilliant. Totally enjoyed it. In the next part, we'll meet more confused holiday makers. OK, you have a wallet on you? I have. OK, will you show me where it is? Just l don't take it out, but... There. Is that inside pocket? All right. Yeah. I'm going to go into here, but I'm going to keep looking at you. I will take nothing, but I'll tell you everything, as Keeble used to say. Right. And you hold my gaze there, that's a black wallet. All right. There's um, silver, a silver card, and a, b uh, and a blue card. A silver card maybe is a, I think... Yeah, it's a visa card. I can see the visa symbol. All right. Oh, it's a fiddly. Uh, it's a receipt. Um, okay, that looks that looks like a a cab receipt. Um, Twenty eighth. 
maybe that's the date, maybe that was on the 28th that you used that. Uh, it's for 70, uh, not 70, uh, 10 pounds. It's a 10 pounds cab receipt. There is, so I'm trying to get everything back. There's a book of stamps. You have two missing. You've taken two out and there's a bit of, there's a folded paper in there. Money, I take it, there's, no it's not. There's no money in there, you've got no money in your wallet. It looks like a shopping list. Uh, apples, <laughs> bananas, oranges, <laughs> and loo roll, lovely. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, ask you to I'm gonna ask you to take that out and verify everything I've said. Let's have a look. I certainly have the stamps. Two missing. Two missing. There's um, a Visa card. 9009, I think. The last figure, you might need to turn it over. The 9009. Last... Let's have a look. Extraordinary. There was a blue card. That, oh, these that, are the two that, that I was Tesco seeing. Tesco shopping card. Oh, right, okay. That's the taxi receipt. Let's have a look. That's, that's quite extraordinary. I don't know how you knew that. There's the 28. It says number 20. I thought number that was a date. 28, and it's for 10 pounds. Can we see that? Can we just get all this? I don't know how you do it. And what else did I mention? The card. Coffee mist. Oranges. Bananas. <laughs> Marvel. Apples, oranges, bananas. <laughs> some less savoury items. <laughs> I'm delighted. I am astonished. I have to admit. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank what you. amazed me most was the taxi card. Until this morning, I was going to come by car. So no, nobody knew I had a taxi receipt in my car, in my wallet. I did not know myself that the number 28 was written on that receipt. It, 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 I'm completely, utterly baffled beyond my comprehension how this is done. I thought it would be fun to teach somebody else my skills for a small charge. Look at that, just giving a little something back. You just do it for the, the faces on the children. What's your name? Marie, okay, now I think you'll be brilliant at this. Come over here. All right, you're going to read someone's mind. It's 5p. Are you happy to do this? Yes. Okay, 5p, please. Thank you very much. You need someone's mind to read? Um, guy there with the hat? You two have never met before. You don't know each other. No, all right. I'm going to ask you to think of uh, do you have a password on your computer or something like that? Yeah. Are you happy for us to say what it is? You can always go yeah, and change yeah. it after. You haven't been asked to tell anybody what that is or anything like that, okay? Now I'm going to tell Marie how to do this. So I'm just going to ask you to sort of face it away. Yeah, sure. Talk to, this, talk to these guys there, they're very chatty. All right, all right. <laughs> all right so, you're going to start. Yeah. You didn't hear any of that, did you? No. no, good. Now you have to take control here. So just put your fingers up there. Is it, is it just, it's not just a mix of random letters no. and things, is it? It's actually a word? Okay, great. Okay, tell him what you want him to do. You want him to repeat it in his head over and over again. Keep repeating the word in your head over and over. Now really send it to her. Imagine that you can just transmit it to Marie here, all right? So in your mind, you're screaming it at her. What letters feel right? B. Okay. Does that make sense? Does it begin with a B or is there a B in it that's a, a, a prominent letter? Yep, okay, great. You're doing well. Keep going. I N the bird. What, have you got an image at all? A picture or anything? Yeah. He's grinning, so I think you're close to, you're close to right. Yeah, um, Like a bird um, singing? Yeah. Is that close? Are we close? Is it, a, is it something to do with the bird singing? Yeah, that's the one. Some yeah, yeah. Songbird. Songbird? Yeah. That is your password, yeah. Songbird. Just straight oh my God. Get away from that I was just walking by and I was just asked to come on and it's met this guy. Happened. The word just came into my head and I just can't believe it's true. I can't believe that's the word. I don't know how that's done. That's what I'm saying. And all I did was just stand there with my fingers on his temples and just somehow just by staring at him, it just suddenly popped into my head. And I was just like saying songbird in my head, songbird, songbird. That's just baffling. I just can't believe it. I'm just <laughs> so shocked. Really, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm going to try and tell you how much money you've got on you. I'll get within 50p of it, or if I don't, you win £100. OK? Excellent. All right. So, let me ask you a few questions. Um, how did you get here today? Bicycle. By bicycle. All right, OK. OK, if you went out for a meal, how much would you spend, roughly, per head? 
30 quid. 30 quid, all right, reasonable, all right, great. And um, do you drive? No. No. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll try and get as close as I can. Is it within 50p or even 100 quid? Um, don't look. I scribbled something down there. Okay, you hold on to that for me. Will you count your money? Take your time. Three pounds. <clears throat> so what's that? Three. Thirty-one. Three thirty-one. What you got in there? Just ten. So it's thirteen pounds thirty-one. I said I'd get within fifty p. Have a look. It's actually. Uh, Thirteen pounds thirty. It's spot on. I'm quite proud of that one. Well done, mate. Cheers. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Inside my head now is chaos. It's obliterated. I can't see how he is, Donny. I'm gobsmacked. Blackpool, the Las Vegas of Britain, apparently. There's an epidemic of street crime reported in Russia where people are bemused into handing over their belongings to scam artists. I thought Blackpool holidaymakers would be perfect to try it on. Now, this worked on about two-thirds of the people I approached. Excuse me, mate. Sorry, you don't know where the, um, the Pleasure Beach is, do you? Pleasure Beach. Is this yeah. whole area the Pleasure Beach, or...? No, just that end piece. It's straight down there, is it? Yeah. OK, you it's don't... Straight down here, yeah. down the prom. Excellent. You don't mind me asking, do you? <laughs> no, OK, you're happy to give that to me. OK. Yeah, you're Excellent. a holidaymaker. Absolutely, no, I don't know the area that well. Cheers, you haven't got the time, have you? No. no. Great. Can I just no. give you that? Can I just grab your wallet off you? Thanks. Can I just grab that from you? Thanks. Thank you ever so much. I'll take that. I know it's such a hot day, isn't it? All right, so straight down there, down the end and on the right. Yeah, yeah. nice way. All right, thank you very yeah, much. Just walk out there. All right, lovely. Thanks. Bro. Cheers. Thanks, Guy comes up, and uh, the next thing is, I'm sort of minus a wallet. You know what I mean? And then I'm thinking, thieving rat bag, gonna slap him. You know what I mean? The wife's tried many times, but <laughs> she never succeeded. Okay, hold on to that. Okay, how much have you got? Count what you've got. Hold that one. Thirty. 30 quid? Yeah. 32. 32, yeah, go on, keep it going. Yeah, 32, 32 50. 33, 50. Good for you, it's a lot of money. Have a look at what I wrote. 33, 50. And I wrote? £4.50. £4.50. Which was wrong. Yes. Which means, after a hard day in doing this and not losing once, what are you going to spend it on? Um, clothes maybe. I don't know. Clothes, invest it wisely. Thank you. Very sensible. Congratulations, Zach. Uh, <laughs> I'll get that off you again. Uh, no, good, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> at first I thought maybe I won't get the hundred pound, but then when I got it, I was just like, oh yeah. This is Port Merion in North Wales, where the cult TV series The Prisoner was filmed back in the 60s. His all sort of colouring seems to change, and the eyes were piercing all the time. The eyes were very, very, very intense. And these are the rules for a staring competition. The first person to look away or blink loses the game. Guy in the baseball cap. Uh, me. What's your name? I'm Jamie. Jamie, come stand here for me. Look at me. Yeah, you'd be good at this. Go. What's up? I just don't feel right. You don't feel right? No. Do you want to stop? Yeah. OK. All right. Anyone else? <laughs> After a while, I started getting this nasty feeling deep down, sort of in my stomach area, right up to my throat. 
It just felt as if he had like some type of control over me. Could you come around for me? Excellent, and come and stand just here. Brilliant. Ready? Go. You want to stop? Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Take a deep breath. And relax and it goes. My eyeballs felt to be burning. I got this sort of feeling in my head, this sort of pounding in my temples. They're really pounding right across here. Oh, excuse me a minute. And I just felt, it was a feeling, it was a feeling of intense terror, but it wasn't a terror, I wasn't going to run away from it. I was just going to knock the living shite out of him, basically. That, that was the feeling. That, that's as close as I can express it. The adrenaline was really good. My heart felt I could feel it pumping. There was just something there that was really, really menacing. I, I, I couldn't say exactly what it was. It was there was something unknown. Meanwhile, I'm in Las Vegas, where for some people, poker is an obsession. I pop into a nightclub to chat to some of the locals. I'm Darren. And Dar Carolina. Carolina, very good to meet you. And Hi, Shannon. Shannon, excellent. And April. April, very good to meet you. Um, I realise it's a personal question, but if I asked you, is there a belief, either about yourself or about things generally, that you would like to believe more than you do? Something you, maybe you don't believe, but it'd be useful if you did believe? or That I could do better in school. I, I believe that I could get all my homework done. <laughs> but that, that image is sort, yeah. of not, sort of not quite certain somehow, is right. that right? When you look at it, it doesn't sort of feel maybe... It doesn't feel solid, is that maybe and that makes it not... Yeah, yeah. a little bit. So difficult yeah. to sort of grasp hold of, doesn't feel solid, doesn't feel certain. Okay, now right. where, where, where do you live? You live in... I, uh, I live in Vegas. In Vegas? Uh -huh. And you know, so when you think yeah. of that and you think that you know you live in Vegas, oh, yeah. that's solid, all right? Oh, so you know that's a solid picture and that makes you feel... That's definite, definitely live in Vegas, yeah? Yes. That's clear. Mm -hmm. And the other one is a bit different. Now look, if you right. take this other image, all right, take the image of you succeeding and doing well, the one that feels a little bit kind of uncertain and difficult, yeah, and difficult to grasp, if you move that over here, mm -hmm. You take the same image of you being able to succeed and lock that into place, which is just there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at it, does that feel more certain? Yeah, it does. So as you look at it now, that image of you being able to succeed and write your paper, how does it feel when you look at it? Like clear, kind mm -hmm. of very sharp and achievable. <laughs> and achievable, right. absolutely. And uh, on, I mean, be honest with me, yeah. does that make you now feel you, you believe that you can do it? Honestly, yes, it does. See, what's interesting is that that little change, which took 10 seconds, right. can make all sorts of changes. You know, little things like that, you plant a little seed and that can make all sorts of changes in your life, which I don't know what they'll be, but you know, I'm sure you'll find out what they are. Let me give you these. Take those for me. Okay. Just lay them out for me on there. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's uh, move those like that. Will you just tell me what the colors are? Go. Okay, blue, green, yellow, red. Excellent. Now you've done what everybody does, okay. which is perfectly understandable. Uh, blue, green, yellow, red. They are, of course, the words, the names that we would normally give those colours. In fact, the situation is more complex. I'm sure you know as well as we all do that that's not actually blue. What it is, it's got a, a colour or a pigment or an ink that the light bounces off. It absorbs most of the light. The rest of the light hits our eyes. That message gets to our brain. Our brain says, you call that blue. You know, it's just a word we give to that sort of that light sensation. You know, it's not actually blue. And anyway, who's to say that's blue anyway? Because you've got the weird sort of reflections in the laminate and one blue could be another person's green. I mean, you wouldn't say it was definitely blue, would you? Well, definitely blue, blue, but it's sort of... Blue, blue. It's, it's got different yeah. colours in it, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could probably see all sorts of other colours in there if you look for long enough. It's not definitely blue, is it? No. No, okay, excellent. And uh, what about if I said this one... Here, you said this was yellow. Right. Okay, but again, it's, you know, who's to say it's yellow? I mean, would you say that was definitely yellow? Not really. Not really, not, 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 not definitely. Not, not completely, completely yellow. I mean, there are all sorts of other colours in there, yeah? Right. I mean, you might see it maybe it could be a little bit orangey. It's quite a warm colour, isn't it? There are lots of other warm colours, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, like red or like an orange or something like that. I mean, would you say that was kind of could be red? Could have a bit of red in it, maybe? 
a yeah, little bit, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's sort of related to that yeah. whole area. Yeah, I mean, you could absolutely lock that into place, and you could definitely see that as red, couldn't you? That's red, yeah? I mean, yeah. as a colour, if you looked at that as a colour and you had to name what colour that was, what would you say? I'd say it was red. You say that was red? Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, you know, so we've got, so these colours are... A blue, a green, red, black. Excellent, okay. Did you say you had your car outside? Yeah. Can we just go and look at your car? Is that all right? Excellent. Um, can you follow us, guys? Where was it? It's, it's a Hyundai. It looks just like that black car right there. It looks like the black car just here, did you say? Yeah. That's my license plate number. <laughs> Definitely my car. Mm. Now it's black. But, um, that that's my car. <laughs> that is that is your car, but it's the but that is that's the not wrong the car. Right color. That's right. I see what you mean. <laughs> so is there a car here that is the right color? There's see, a red Hummer over there, but where's the red Hummer? Through there. Can we see that? Is that red Hummer just there? Yeah. That is my car, but it's How, who painted it black though. My best friend thinks her car is black, black. <laughs> when it's red. <laughs> Everybody can see it's red except for her. Yeah, that's, that's pretty odd. We go to Gallagher's Steakhouse in New York. It was one of the first Prohibition-era speakeasies for the gamblers and stars of Broadway. Tonight, diners have been told that there is a camera crew documenting the abilities of one of the waiters who claims to be psychic and handsome. Hi there, how are you guys doing? Are you ready to order? Yeah. yeah. Okay, don't tell me what you want. I'm going to try and do that for you. Oh. All right? Okay. okay. So, first of all, I'm going to put you both down, I think, for the same starter. Um, and I think that's going to be the soup. Yeah? Yeah. The main course, I think you're going to go for uh, a lighter option. I don't think there's actually vegetarian there, but I'd put you down, I think, for the salmon. Yes. I'm going to put you down for the steak. Yeah, of which there's more than one. We'll go for the... Got to do better than that. Hanger steak. You got it. How'd you like that medium rare? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Desserts. Again, lighter for you. So cheesecake for you. And uh, I, so I think I'll go for the custard or the sorbet. I'm going to go for the custard for you. Am I right? Yes. Excellent. Good. Well, thank you. Um, well, if you don't mind, I'll take this a little bit further. Uh, you, uh, I think you both see yourselves as uh, highly dynamic and charged people and people that seem to sort of... Um, circle the world in a different orbit from the rest of us and they tend to make otherworldly connections with each other so I'd imagine one of the things that brought you together would be the fact that you'd be the same star sign is that correct yeah now it's bullshit and I don't believe in that but Pisces Aries Aries Pisces one of the two yeah Aries great okay um, think of something I, I, I really couldn't know do you have a uh, you have a pet used to used to okay what, what, what type of pet a dog. a dog okay can you remember his name or her name? Great, okay, just, just say the name to yourself. In fact, just, uh, just p pick a letter somewhere in the middle of the name. All right, I'll just try it with a letter somewhere in the middle of the name. You just look at me and think it's an L. Is that an L? Yeah. Yeah? Great, okay, and just say it yourself. This is a, a dog you used to have. Died a few years ago? No. No, you've given him to somebody else. Okay, all right, Roly, 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 Riley. Riley? Ro again? Riley. Riley, okay, <laughs> excellent. And is James proud of you? Yeah. Yeah, your father? Yeah. You see, what you've learned from him, you've learned a real, um, a kind of a, a dislike of authority, a dislike of being told kind of what to do, constantly trying to, you have trouble paying your uh, car uh, speeding fines, speeding tickets. It was like a parking ticket. Do you get I into never... trouble for it? Um, no. Oh, I can see you're not paying parking tickets and getting into trouble for that. <laughs> When you were young, you did something with your sister. You you uh, cut or damaged or something. Your sister was it with the razor? Yes. Good. You should call your sister more often, Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. You should call her. She'll visit more often if you talk to her more. Enjoy your meal. I'll go get you food. Thank you. Thank you. The thing is, I didn't pay a ticket, and I lost my license. I don't know if you meant that. 